Well, first we had DVD. Who even has laser discs nowadays? Hoarders. That's who. The fall of Blockbuster. Collector or hoarder. I, I've kind of got myself into a bit of a situation with the collection. Uh, I'm hoping that it's something that uh, other collectors out there can sympathise with. My collection of DVDs, Blu-ray, 4K and everything in between has become a little unmanageable. These things, they're overflowing from our designated movie area and sometimes it causes a little bit of stress. I'm not sure where to store them. They're taking over all areas of the house. It's all becoming a little bit too much. I've decided to take some steps. I wanted to organise my collection a little better. When I started to look through the titles to start organising them, made a kind of discovery and came to a realisation. Am I a hoarder? Looking through a good percentage of my collection are movies that they just aren't very good. Or they're actually movies I've got very little interest in revisiting. For some reason I've kept hold of these titles for the collection. Why do I have these titles in the collection when they mean very little to me? And when the size of the collection starts to cause stress or anxiety, why am I hoarding them or collecting them? Why have I accumulated so many titles? I think there are a couple of reasons. Well, the first reason I can think of is the launch of DVD. This is DVD. With the launch of DVD came a lot of import possibilities. I was discovering that I could import a lot of titles that were not available in the UK. So importing became a nice option to get these movies early, make new discoveries and give me bragging rights because I could be first. Because these movies were imports, generally you couldn't particularly sell them easily on eBay because nobody wanted them. Nobody had that multi-region player. The bragging rights became a collection started to overrun. Then we had the fall of Blockbuster. Blockbuster I've never seen 10,000 tapes in one store. When Blockbuster collapsed, digital downloads and streaming weren't really a considered option. I still wanted a tangible product, something that I could hold, something that I could feel, to take home to watch my movies. And without the brick and mortar stores, I found myself ordering more and more titles and have them in hand. So. Without Blockbuster, my attention turned to ordering more. Habit from these factors has kind of kept me in the collecting mindset and needing to pick up everything. Now we have another aspect to collecting, which is feeding that addiction. I'm talking about social media. We find a lot of movie collectors with a similar mindset that need to get it all. The other collectors will be posting their titles. They want to be first to post and it gives them the bragging rights which always feeds that fear of missing out. When I sit and consider what I've been doing, it's made me realise I'm hoarding and I need to sort this out. My hoarding is that bad. I've still got old laser discs. Who even has laser discs nowadays? Hoarders, that's who. I want my collection to be a reflection of me and my tastes, rather than being a mishmash of absolutely everything. Now I'm realising it's kind of, for me, it's a waste of time keeping hold of these titles when personally I may not watch them again. I don't need to keep them as part of my collection just purely for numbers. I think each and every title on my shelf needs to have a purpose and needs to be special for me. If I have a clear out then I wouldn't end up with titles that mean very little to me. So I just need some of these titles to be gone not have that stress or anxiety about where to put new titles when they're received. So my collection is slowly being farmed out. I've also I've slowed down picking up the physical releases. I'm giving more thought in my reasons to be picking up a particular title. I found something strange while I've been making this journey. I found myself to be less bothered about some of the limited editions that are coming out. Happy just to leave it or catch it on a streaming service. I certainly don't feel in as much of a rush to have to pre-order these titles. I'm kind of slowly shaking that FOMO, the fear of missing out, and hopefully it's taking me down a healthier path with my collection and how I collect and view my movies. It's kind of refreshing that I now feel at ease with my collection. 
I don't feel as precious about those that I've missed out on. Some of them I've been picking up further down the lines and literally half the price. For example, recently I picked up the Shorescope set, £120 when it was first released. I waited and during a sale I managed to pick it up for £60 because I'd shaken that fear of missing out and I was willing to wait and potentially not have it in the collection. Save me money and save me space. Well, for a few months. I am a hoarder. I feel like I've kind of woken up to myself a little bit and I'm dealing with it. Let's get some space back into my life and live in a less cluttered environment. And hopefully it leaves me with a collection that reflects me and my tastes rather than everyone. Does anyone else struggle with their collection and it's overflowing into all areas of their lives? Do you collect for the numbers or do you just collect the movies that you love? Let me know in the comments below and we can discuss it. Uh, I'd like to know if anyone has been in a similar situation to me or continues to be in a similar situation and get your thoughts as well. Let's chat below, click a like, click a subscribe and I'll catch you next time.